Hi folks, um, just going for a bit of a dumpster dive, so I'm on my own tonight, so hopefully you won't come too much. So here goes. <coughs> oh. I've only just got here. I've already found this, which is quite nice. So I should be putting that in the car. Put that in the car. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. <laughs> Spider's web. But not a lot. It's a plastic box at the back, but I can't reach that. <clears throat> oh, God, that's polystyrene. Not much else, I don't think. There. Not a lot in there. Nothing in there. I think they're still actually in the store. They've got to be quiet. They come out, which is pretend we're looking for cardboard boxes. Nothing in here. No. Not only thought here. Haven't been here for a while, but there doesn't seem to be anything. So that's it for this shop. Go on to the next one. Hi, I'm um, sorry about the dumpster diving. Um, I have to go on my own now, so it's a bit hard trying to film and digging the dumpster. But I thought I'd show you my haul of what I got. Um, so let's get on. Right, the first thing we found these bottles of perfume. Um, these ones are only cheapy ones, but um, they weren't actually spraying. So what I did was just um, ran the spray bit under hot water, and they now spray. Look, see? So yeah, they're only cheapy ones, but perfume's perfume. So there you go. <laughs> The next, this one here actually smells really, really nice. What's it called? Hidden Desire. So, yeah. Don't always um, put cheap perfume down because it does smell really nice. It might not last as long, but it just smells as good. So, the next thing we found was this Elizabeth Arden Pre Prevage. And it's anti aging moisture lotion. So, that feels. Like it is actually full. Um, yeah. So, and then we found we found a few items in that. I think this is anti-aging daily serum. Well, they seem to work all right. I've had a spray of them, so can't be bad. And then we found the Privage anti-aging moisture cream Elizabeth Arden this is very weird because um, I'm going to show you you actually push this down and the cream squirts out that little hole I mean it's obviously been used but there's still quite a lot of product in there so yeah these were all Elizabeth Arden um, yeah so that was that I found a pair of um, eyelashes I look exaggerate but there isn't any glue in there so it's not a problem you can always get in the new glue they're quite nice lashes um, found a tub of a quiz cream at quiz cream whatever you want to call it it actually feels like a full tub and it's used by the second 2020 so, so it's good for moisturiser or you can use it as a wet, use it wet as well. Um, I found a Babyliss Jaw Clip, sorry you can see my reflection, a 
Fabulous Jaw Clip Ponytailer. Dark brown. Um, the only thing is wrong with this I can see is the packaging is damaged but um, I will be selling this if you're interested. So please message me if you're interested in this. Um, 11 inch jaw clip ponytailer in dark brown. Um, I found a Revolution jewel eyeliner which has been used but it's probably someone just pulled it back because probably the wrong shade or sorry it's really hard trying to film one handed and found a revolution palette and um, it's actually a sculpt and contour kit so quite nice it has been used obviously the middle one's been used then we found a, I keep saying we, me, a Glamise by Rimmel Day to Night Mascara with two in one Magic Cat. No, I actually haven't actually tried this, so I don't know how it works, but it's got some weird ending on it. And there was a, I can never pronounce this, Beaujou, Beaujou, Paris. This was a eyeshadow and I'm a bit peed off with this because I did actually break it <laughs> it wasn't actually smashed I can't open it yeah so I actually smashed it so it had been used but it wasn't smashed but I should get the rubbing alcohol on that it's quite a nice colour some hennies eye makeup and remove the pads which I don't know, I haven't actually looked into these but it seems like they're mostly all in there so yeah I make up remover pads I'm leaving the best to last, don't worry folks and then we've got a short dry deodorant which I don't know sure why this was thrown away because it actually sprays and it smells absolutely gorgeous so yeah I should be using that myself um, we found this Aquafish Easy Wash out. It's actually shape defining wax, but it's got a really weird name. It's called Fish Fingers. So now I found that. Next thing we found was some Clarins. Um, what is it? It's face tre treatment oil. There is a bit in there, as you can see. Uh, this did actually leak in the bag because the bottle, the top wasn't done up properly. So that's some facial oil. Then again, there was Henny's Goji and Watermelon All Over Mist. So I'm not sure what was wrong with that. Um, then there was um, Ted Baker Body Spray which smells absolutely gorgeous there's only a little bit in there but fine I'll be using that found one of these yet again which is also useful when you're out dumpster diving this is an antibacterial hand cleanser and it does actually smell like lemons it's got a lovely smell to it so that's that right now on to the good bits you've all been waiting for so there was a bottle of CK2 um I couldn't actually find the lids, but from previous dumps of diving, when I find lids, I always hang on to them and then try and Google a picture and see what the lid looks like. And I managed to find this one for the CK2. But as you can see, there's quite a bit in there. And then there was the... Um, Givenchy, Givenchy or whatever you like to call it and um, there is a little bit in there not much so that one and then on to the good stuff we found a Prada so as you can see it's in there that had its lid missing I think it's my lid missing and then this one look it's near enough Three quarters of a bottle full, so 
put on it says on there put your message I don't know if you see it, it says put your message here so it's obviously a you can have it personalised in the shop so it's Prada again and then another Prada this actually has got its lid broken off but I'm going to try because this is like half a bottle I'm actually going to see if I can take this out or perhaps just put another one of these bits probably fit onto there so yeah that was it it's quite a good haul but um sorry I couldn't actually film the taking out of the bin I say it's a bit hard it says on there that not for sale can you see that it proves to you that it is a tester not for sale um it's a bit hard trying to film when you're actually dump diving on your own because you've got to rip open the bags keep a look out for people and um well if you're trying to film it's a nightmare so what i'm going to try to do is film bits of my dumpster diving and then um with perfumes etc because i'm frightened also frightened of dropping the bottles of perfume i'm going to show you the haul when i get home so i hope you enjoyed that haul my Prada haul so yeah and if you are interested in this um, draw clip ponytail please message me and um, probably will keep the perfumes myself because I do like my perfume um, so hope you are having a good time and enjoying your dumpster diving and you're finding lots of good things as I am um and if you haven't subscribed could you please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and comment because i will always comment back i like to interact with my subscribers so yeah so hope you have a good week and bye